Hello and welcome back to another Rapture packed episode of Krista Butcher and Friends. And you know what? This isn't just one of these. It's also something I've never had before. So it's a first time trying one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Krista Butcher's Super cool review! Do you know what? I've been on this God's Green Planet for 45 years. And I've gone 45 years and I've never had haggis. Now, I know it sounds strange, but I've just never come across... Well, I've seen haggis loads of times. Never had the opportunity to try it. Can't say I don't like, don't like the look of it because, to be quite honest with you, what's in the ingredients sometimes does sound pretty good. But then again, me, you, well, I used to be a butcher. I'm not anymore. I'm not. I'm just kind of fucking potting around the house now. That's my living. Uh, it's, you know, me, it's about time I tried it. I, I know it's not Burns Night or anything like that. Uh, any Scottish holidays or anything. But, you know, me, I saw it in Tesco's, the religion. Oh, so I thought I'd try it. And it's Simon Howie, the Scottish butcher. Haggis original, the UK's number one haggis. Made to our own traditional recipe with delicious blend of lamb, beef, onion, oatmeal, onion, oatmeal, barley and mixed spices. Haggis worthy of the occasion. Well, the occasion today is I'm in my kitchen and I'm trying it for the first time. And I'm sharing it with you guys on YouTube. Uh, ingredients. Oh, barley! That's the only ingredient, that's the only allergens. But this might, this might put a lot of people off. It's not putting me off, right? It's not putting me off. I don't know if you can see the ingredients there. It's going to focus or not. Uh, where are we up to? Where we are? I can't see it on there. You might be able to see it on there if you look carefully. Uh, it's got lamb lungs in it. <laughs> the lungs of a lamb, like, <gasps> that, you know, actual lungs. Uh, lab lungs, 33%. Uh, oatmeal, obviously, bar barley, we've uh, established. Uh, ground pimento water, beef fat, beef liver, beef heart. It's definitely an awful. Oh, it's an awful thing to eat. Awful. So, yeah, the uh, the versatile Scottish dish, uh, and it goes out of date on the 12th of November, which is... It's the third today, isn't it? Fourth, no, it's, no, it's the third. It's a third today, and I've had it in my fridge for about a week. <laughs> so it's got some life on it, on it. Uh, keep refrigerated, once opened, used within two days. Uh, this will be gone today. I'm, I'm guaranteed I am going to enjoy that. So everything on there, I don't mind. And I mean, a liver, heart, lungs I've never had, but I, I can't imagine it tasting any worse than anything else I've eaten. Uh, there's four ways to cook this. You can boil it, you can put it in the oven, you can microwave it, or you can pan fry it. Now, I'm going to go for the boiling method, which I have to take it out of the packet, wrap it in foil, drop it in a... I've got a pan of, a pan of water here, get into the boil. Put it in there. Once it gets to a rolling boil, turn it down to a simmer, and then you simmer it for 45 minutes. Then burn the fuck out of your fingers, try and get it out. So, yeah. Let's get down here and give us shufties at it. There it is. <laughs> hey, it's not as big as I thought. It does look a bit like a black pudding, I suppose. It's not going to taste like a black pudding, because it's not got the pig's blood in it. It smells, it smells like a black pudding. It definitely has got the smell of a black pudding. Right, anyway. Tin foil. Wrap it in tin foil. Sorry off camera there, I didn't realise. There it is. Just wait for that. Uh, I said, "Cat." No, I said, "Kel." Wait for that pan of water to get to the boil, and we'll uh, drop it in. 
Well, I've been here a good 20 minutes waiting for this to get to a rolling boil. I think that's as fucking close as I'm going to get to a rolling boil on this one. It's a plumber electric, isn't it? The gas, you can really crank the heat up, can't you? Anyway, don't get me wrong, that water is scalding hot. So there is my haggis. There are my fingers. Missed. Uh, and that is, it says just so it covers it, but that'll do. Bollocks to it. So now I've got, I've took a little bit of heat out of that pan. I've got to wait for it to come back to that boil again. And then I'll turn it down to a simmer. But for you guys, next time you see this, I'll be slicing into it and losing my fucking fingerprints. Do you know what? It's been 45 minutes. And I've got to somehow unwrap this. <laughs> Tinfoil wrapped uh, mystery for me anyway. And you see, I got, this, I got the Southern Viking on that then. Cause it was, and I've got my samurai here. This is going to be hot. This is not the only way I can unwrap it is by using my fingers. Come on. It's like Christmas morning, isn't it? Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. What have you got for Christmas? I got a fucking haggis. Oh, come on. Play the game. There we are. Right, so there it is. It... <laughs> sliding right. Sliding right plate like a, bo a bar of soap at Strangeways bathroom. Uh, that's right. Uh, yeah. Oh god, my knife is knife. Me, let get another knife. That knife is dead. Uh, right. <laughs> I have a funny feeling I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, hear that? Uh. Oh, fuck you know. And I could cut it there a bit. Hey. This is becoming problematic. Yeah, just do this take it out of the fucking sleeve when it's cooked. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> you can tell I'm not joking. You see steam coming off it. Hey. hey. It is done! Right, I've got a fork. Should we cut it first? Let me see if I can cut it. It's not got the consistency of black pudding because, end of the day, it's not black pudding, is it? I don't know why I keep saying it. Oh, fucking hell. It smells like black pudding. But it's not black pudding, Chris. Come on, it's haggis. It smells good. I like black pudding, right? But I know it's not black pudding again, I know. Do you know what? Let's just get it down my gizzard. I know it's red hot, but... Do you know what would be nice? I bet you know be nice unless some mustard. I ain't got any old English mustard. Oh, come on, fuck's sake. Mmm. It definitely got that oaty, oats and barley. Definitely spice. That is really, really nice. That. Mmm. That'd be nice. Though. That'd be nice. Though. A fucking piece of tiger bread or something. I don't know. Milkies. I've got a bit. I, I've got some mustard. But I don't think it's old English. Oh, they all put cupboard door into your face. Huh? Uh, oh no. That's me pepper Phil Brock. I think. Yeah. Peppercorns everywhere. Phil, I am so sorry, but your pepper, Phil, has just obliterated on floor. And I've got about two days of fucking cleaning up to do with peppercorns. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Right, anyway. Uh, it's Heinz Yellow Must. It's not... I'm going to put it on a bit because it's not... It's the end of the day, it's not fucking Old English, is it? Destroyed me pepper, Phil, just for that. Fucking bollocks. Right, anyway, let's get this down, my gizzard. Still good, though. Mmm. You know what? I don't like that one. I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't try that sooner. Because that is superb. Do you know what I've decided? 
But, there we are. Because you still put the thing in through there, I'm going to get some tape. I'm going to tape that so I've, I've not lost it. There's no way I'm losing that just for, for that fucking shit mustard. Oh, anyway, haggis. I tried it for the first time in my life in 45 years, and I've really enjoyed it. I could carry on eating that. Mmm. Nothing wrong with that. Might put a bit of salt on it. That's it. Not that mustard. Nah. But yeah, I liked it. If you like this, press like. Comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. Bah! I'll become a family member of hashtag two, 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 B, where I fucking love you.